so my man just straight up excretes out of his you know and the poop i don't really know how that works but last episode pretty hype the animation whenever they're doing actions you know us in that monster form the blue lightning effect happening the uppercuts he's so strong he just obliterated this monster to the point that the other squad came in and thought what did this because so far different weapons are like cutting stuff beams right shooting thing there should be like at least some kind of corpse but we just like punched it to the heaven and there's like fl chunks of flesh coming down and it kind of shows you how strong this kaiju 8 is right so there's different kaijus different code names we are the eighth i don't know if the numbers are just chronological or if it's like it most likely is it probably is in some kind of overall ranking and i think we ended off at this like entrance exam arc style right a blonde on twin tailed not really lolly but she shows up and she's talking a lot of shit but her suit power she somehow is super cracked and like lifted the goddamn truck with one hand so i think she also uses like a big axe from the trails in the opening so she seems pretty hyped today's episode should be insane if it is the entrance exam arc let's begin today's reaction oh re recap scene re recap scene she apparently hunts monsters for hobbies man as a kid she has like she's not a lolly right i sometimes just like default call a girl a lolly if she has twin tails and kind of like petite but she's not she's just kind of like the ojo summon type without the curls and she's super cracked wonder what her deal is with the kaiju right she must have some kind of backstory that makes her want to hunt them mm. yeah we clean up kaiju poo -poo. oh i didn't know kafka had this power like, I thought he had to be in monster form. I thought that he had to be in kaiju form for those. He doesn't, like, base power has this, but now, with the kaiju in us, right? I guess even in human form, he has significantly heightened strength. Okay. And, like, this is without a power suit, right? Because she had this, like, suit that, like, activated for the power. And bro's doing it without a power suit. Imagine what happens if he wears a power suit. No, we don't have a private suit, right? Don't tell me he got his own. So she has a private suit. These suits are only for kaiju hunters, I'm gonna assume. She already has one because she's got special, like, privileges, but we don't. <laughs> Bro, what's comfy? He took that personally. He saw Kikoto say, huh? You better fucking remember me. And he's like, nah, nah. You better remember me, bitch. Ooh, a rivalry here, maybe? What is this? Okay, the butler's kind of funny for no reason the butler's kind of hilarious he's just holding down his fucking straight face just backs it maybe he can kill kaiju too maybe he's joining the entrance exam no he's too old for that yeah are we rivals now what is this the butler and multiple bodyguards around there does she even need a bodyguard no we have to show the fucking blonde girl man ah okay so it was partial transformation with the arm i thought he was in complete human form and his strength was like that but partial transformation is where he got the power from. blame kikoru she flipped our car <sighs> No shot he fails this time, right? Revenge match. Looks like a uh, military boot camp training. Are we actually falling behind, man? Kaiju number 87. Okay. Now what are you, just above average or barely average? <sighs> Do you really get this week when you turn 30? Bro woke up out of bed, his knees are cracking, his back is hurting. Oh no, the boomer, the boomer jeans are kicking in. Oh no, I can't compete with these crack zoomers. She. <laughs> that is... And Kikoru! Five, top five. We're, we're, we're top 290. That's how, how the fuck? Six people are worse than us out of 225 people. That's insane. I, well, that means that we just have to ace the aptitude test, right? Because if we bomb the fitness, then we got, we got the aptitude test. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, Kikoru, okay. 
<laughs> She's so fucking cheeky. <laughs> we, we did say that though. <laughs> but it's crazy how a girl this slim without the power suit, right? The private suit. She's, she's, she's just physically gifted like that, huh? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no shit! That's why we're 219! <clears throat> yeah? Really? Okay. So in the aptitude test, if you use your power, you're cheating. But then again, how the fuck can we use your power? We're being moderated the entire time, right? There's like referees and shit. So does he really have to raw dog this? You probably should have used a partial transformation here and there. Like, he could have straight up just, like, partially transformed his legs, right? Is he wearing full-on pants? If they can't hide, like, if they can't see his legs, right? He should have fucking done something like that. Or, like, maybe just, like, his abs, too. I don't know. Oh, it's the captain again. A lot of people are hyping up this dude right here. Not the girl. The guy with the mushroom haircut, the bowl haircut. And he doesn't open his eyes. And he's a little short. He's a little petite. But a lot of people are like, yo, the vice captain, you don't know. You, you don't fucking know. Of course I don't fucking know. Bro hasn't done shit yet. But uh, apparently he's super hyped, so I will keep an eye on him. She knows it's Kafka, right? Yeah. She just kind of like feels disappointed in him. Vice Captain has fangs? Double fangs, bro. He's got double fangs. Izumo? Who? Beyond Kikoru, this guy is the most anticipated. And that's true. Kikoru only got fifth. There's like, you know, four people ahead. Yuharu. Pompadour guy? Powerhouse whose house was valedictorian. Oh, he's a valedictorian. Okay. Fitness exam rank third place. Iharu Furuhashi. Aoi Karuga. Wait, STF? Wait, STF? <laughs> okay, this is one of Itami's juniors showing up for a kaiju way. Yo, what is the STF doing in this show? They can't really do shit, right? They're like, I'm gonna assume the STF is the equivalent of like just like regular cops in solo leveling. And like this is like the hunters against the monsters, right? Because like the cops can't do much. They're just kind of outside. And then the actual hunters, or in this case, like Kaiju Defense Force, right? That's the one that's going to actually beat them. <laughs> he just he turned down the position. I guess watching Gate Season 1 and 2 was not enough propaganda to join JSTF. <laughs> he joined and realized, you know, Rory Mercury, Tuka, and Lele is not a thing. It's just a sausage fest. Where the fuck are my fucking, you know, fantasy waifu? All right, most of the people in this cohort is pretty good, yeah? Basically, the floor of this Cohort is very high. California neutralization at 16. Skipped grades, child prodigy. Actual prodigy, huh? All these dudes are so scared of her. Yeah, you picked a fight with her, Senpai. Are we simping? Are we simping right now? In, in the beginning, we were like a rivalry. Wait, wait, she is kind of cracked, right? Yes, like she is super cocky and confident, but like if you have the competency to back up that confidence, is it really just like ego? Yes, it is ego, but it's proven ego. <laughs> the Baldi was so quick with them. Even the way that they're stomping the guy. <laughs> Shinomi a bodyguard. <laughs> this Ojo-sama, dude. But like doing this actually kind of like, um, I don't know if it puts a target on his back, but like if everyone is out for Kikoru and if Kikoru is personally going there to shit on, you know, Kafka, that means that other people might look at Kafka with like a uh, different expectation. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of fucked though. You gotta, you gotta ace the aptitude test, bro. Kaiju corpse disposal. Like cleaning shit up. The aptitude test is just cleaning kaiju poop, which we're good at, I guess. More about teamwork, kaiju knowledge. Ah, they, he's, yeah, I think he jinxed it. Bro literally just said the past couple years has always been this. So, like, don't worry, bro. <laughs> aptitude test, kaiju hunting type. 100%. They're not gonna fuck around with this shit. Imagine, like, you cannot have a, like a, an entrance exam arc that's not hype. You cannot just, like, clean up poop. There's gotta be actual simulation fighting, right? Yes. The only reason he joined the disposal is to basically get some experience for the aptitude test. There he is again! Hoshina. Hoshiro Hoshina. So, like, what is going on with his teeth? Like, does he have any of the tooth here? 
because it looks like she has no teeth and it's just the two fangs over here. Hunt. <laughs> Jinxed it, motherfucker. Shouldn't have said that. This guy straight up cleaned up monster shit for no fucking reason. Like his entire reason of joining the poo poo cleanup crew was because he had knowledge that the aptitude tests were always cleanup shit. But now he's like, shit, what the fuck was I cleaning up all that shit? <laughs> Vice Captain, do something! Vice Captain! I wanted Vice Captain to do something, man. I thought this is the moment where he's gonna like show us just a bit of how cool he was. <laughs> Kafka's the only one that fell on his fucking ass, dude. <laughs> Give us weapons. The suits, the suits. Izumo, Izumo Tech Gear. Hmm? It just like enhances them, right? Cool. Kaiju muscle fibers? So they use like Kaiju monster knowledge to make this technology that just like enhances your physical abilities, right? That's like an exoskeleton, yeah? Combat suit. How does that work with Kafka then? Because like Kafka like can turn into a monster, but when he turns into a monster, the suit, the clothing he has, does he like, is it like amplified? He turns into a monster and then the suit also like amplifies it or does the suit just like come off? How does that work? Maybe there's some stacking abilities here? Konomi Okonogi, third division operator, some more important people in the team, and she probably does like the logistics stuff here, yeah? 8%. Oh, okay! So, like, there's like some kind of like uh, natural innate talent you have, synchro with the suit. I'm gonna assume 100% is like the max output, so he's only utilizing 8% of it. Okay. And this is the top prospect. The top prospect is only 18%. How? What is Kikoru at? Kikoru, always was, Kikoru already had a private suit. I'm going to assume she's going to be at least like 90 plus. Maybe that's too much. Uh, these are like the top prospects. Kafka, Kafka, please. You got to be like pretty good, right? So like even after training, like the average of the people that pass is like 20%. Okay. Kafka, I swear to God, if it's zero, man. What? Really? Even above 10% is lucky. I thought that this is trash, but I'm like overestimating like the numbers. Sorry, I'm underestimating the numbers. Even 20% is after training. So if you get above 10, you're already like really, really good, I guess. Kikuru! Kikuru! Amazing, but you know, 46%. If you think about it, it's not really like you know, out of 100, it's like a failure, right? Like, if you think 50% is the pass, but 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 above 20 is amazing. So she's hitting 46. This is fucking crazy. No one is even close to this, but like, no one can pass 50. It, it, what about the vice commander? What about that girl? You know, the girl with the white tiger, our childhood friend. Like, what are they? What are their numbers at? 46 is amazing. This is the top mark so far. The greatest talent in history. Shit. If you don't have a zero at this point, you pass, and we haven't hit Kafka. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna assume. Bro, it's literally a zero. What if it's like negative? Like negative 70%? This is history in the making! Listen, Kikuru hitting 48 of 46 is record breaking. This too is a record breaking. It's just in the other spectrum, you know. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with them? <laughs> Squeeze what up? You're gonna take a shit, bro. Oh god. We're booming, man. We are fucking booming. The vice captain is very fun, though, huh? I guess it's just innate talent, huh? Can you like determine? No, no, with the training, you can improve the number. It's not a fixed number. So, but at a certain point, your base stat, the number that you start off with, that's just like your base talent. And we are just. But who the fuck cares about 0%?
Because, like, we have kaiju form. And that surpasses anything. So, I don't think it matters. Did he actually show his full teeth there? Wait, 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 wait. Did he actually? Hold up, hold up. Full teeth. Full, full teeth. Nah, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Yeah, I, 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 hold on. We're, 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 oh! Oh! He does have teeth! Oh! Okay, that's good to know. I was kind of scared that he only had the two fangs, bro. I was <laughs> low-key kind of scared. A trick? Is there a trick? True! We did pick up that car and she was super impressed at that. So she has a lot of expectations in us. More teeth, more teeth. Oh, you did it! He opened his eye! Yo, characters like this, when they always close their eyes, when they open it, it's like when they get fucking serious, their voice acting changed too. The voice changed. No more clown time. Be serious. After two test time, we're gonna neutralize the monsters, right? Different types of monsters, yeah? Anti kaiju weapons. Guns? That's the thing. Because, like, that's gonna monitor us. Like, we can't do partial transformations, let alone a full transformation. So, we gotta destroy this drone somehow. We need to get into a, a situation where, like, it's blackout. Blind out for, like, a couple seconds or something. Kafka transforms, kills a fucking monster, and then it's like, holy shit, he fucking did it. He passes. It's gotta be something like that. And, like, how long will the secret remotely activate the shield on your suit? Okay. So, there's not actual danger. Because the shield will kind of save us. If the shield goes off, we fail, though. Okay. So it's whoever gets the most kills? She's running on the wall! She uses, like, a huge axe. Everyone's trying to figure out what's going on. She already got two kills. Cause he's so fucking weak right now. <laughs> Only I the zero, bro. Why are you so proud of this shit? You know what? He might become like the first person in history that had a score of zero from the power suit that actually gets admitted into the squad. Oh shit, if she's watching Kafka, you gotta do something, man. You gotta look good for Mina, man. Main character moment. To make sure you don't die. Yeah. Support. Help each other out. Know your role in the team and play support role. Prove yourself as like a role player. Exactly. You don't have to be the ace. So I guess even the weapon's output is dependent on your power suit, right? Because like, right now these bullets aren't doing shit, but when Kikoru shot, it was like a fucking chunk of a hole that's gone in the body. He got the kaiju knowledge from cleaning up poop all the time, that's right. Now with this knowledge, what can he do? Smoke bomb? Flashbang? Flashbang? Nice support! And kind of leadership here, right? Coordinating your no. men. Yo, I think Kikoru actually shot the same monster in the stomach when she was running off in the beginning, huh? I swear to God, she shot a hole. So she already fucking knew about that knowledge? Or am I just crazy? All right, teamwork. We got a fucking strategist. Is Shinomi a groupie? <laughs> We're not simping over her. Okay, did we look good, though? Things are looking kind of decent, though, yeah? Well, there goes our human body defense. Oh. We're already done. We're, we're already fucking done, dude. No shield! No shield! Kikuru. Kikuru. You need to get out of here right now, bro. But he can't transform. Mina. Mina's watching. Kikuru, Kikuru. Kikuru. I'm gonna assume that's Kikuru right there. It's gotta be. That was too clean. Look at this shit. 
Uh, nobody goes down when I'm on the field. Okay, okay. It... <laughs> this is a fucking bitch, bro. But some people really love this kind of treatment. They love a strong, confident, cocky, you know, twin tail girl just shitting on you. Why is she so fucking strong, man? Too quick. Like, actually, too quick. She seems to be just like flying everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Partial transformation on the leg only then. Henshin? Don't give up. No, the zero is cool, bro. You're the first in history. And everyone's moving forward without us, man. You get up! No shot, this percentage goes up. It's been going to zero the entire time. Is it gonna go to one or something? Why is it constantly going to zero if the percentage goes up, bro? <laughs> why we're at zero percent other than the fact that he's an old man he's kind of got like he's kind of like the, his physical is pretty weak right he doesn't have all this crazy training like kikoru has had but beyond that why is he at zero percent does it have to do with the kaiju that went inside of him is this fucking up the numbers i don't know interesting to think about that. he released his innate talent guys 0.01 percent i think all she cares is about the determination in his eyes and that's the episode hey the entrance exam arc it's fucking hype in any shonen-esque show right i love it when we're going to some kind of like a, a new school new academy there's all these new people to look out for there's like the important top prospect there's like the ace and there's always like the underdog right and we are the underdog but goddamn we fucking suck these power suits these defensive suits right if you're like even in the 10 percent above area you're already insane in fact even eight percent that our kohai got was pretty good if you get 46 though you are a fucking genius kikuru has obviously had training since she was a kid she has had a private suit which i'm assuming is what it said it's a private suit instead of this is like um military tech but for some reason she has access to that so she's been able to practice with it as a kid therefore she's already been able to get 46 percent is my understanding of this kafka he's stuck at zero for multitude of reasons but beyond just him being a boomer and just like being a little washed is it the kaiju in him that is doing something to the percentage that i don't really know and another really interesting thing to consider is what happens if he changes if he actually turns into a monster form let's not even think about full monster form because i don't even know how to suit with maintain but if he goes like partial transformation just on his fucking fist just on his leg will the suit then scale accordingly and then stack on top of the existing kaiju powers i don't know it seems very crazy though huh that this could happen we got a little bit more of the vice you know captain that everyone has been hyping up he does have teeth and we haven't seen him in action yet but soon one of these days we will see just why he's so simped over in my youtube comments and it's looking like you know we got 0.01 percent but hey next episode it should be pretty hype i'm expecting some kind of crazy outcome him maybe kafka will do something crazy monsterization maybe kikoda will just save the day i don't know but mina chan is watching so we better look cool but that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care